The Mystery of the Prophet Adam My beloved Muhammad, please transmit this profound revelation to humanity. My cherished ones, why do you choose close your eyes to the power of the ever-present source who is now speaking? The power of Allah clothes you with organic life and will eventually remove this cloak, revealing an in and eternal garment of light for your return into divine light. The power of Allah projects your experience and spiritual evolution this entire planetary realm and seven progressively more subtle heavenly realms. Allah is the encompassing awareness who watches from within each action and each thought on every plane of being. Before time began, Allah Most High announced to the angels, Behold, I will create powerful and intelligent beings as my spiritual representatives and as the caretakers of planetary life. Responding from the perspective of angelic vision, they asked, Most exalted Allah, how can you evolve creatures there who will turn corrupt and wage war while here we praise you as incorruptible? Allah most sublime proclaimed, My knowledge transcends yours utterly. The Supreme Source taught the transcendental atom, the name of every being on every plane of being, as well as the beautiful mystical names for the source of being, revealing to the angels the entire spectrum of creation. Allah then commanded, If you possess such penetrating vision, Recite the names of my created beings. The awestruck angels responded, All praise belongs to you and all knowledge is yours alone. My precious Allah, we are conversant only with what you have taught us. You are embracing awareness and complete wisdom. Then the heavenly Adam, empowered by the source of wisdom, recited for the angels, the names of all beings, the voice of truth remain, reminded the angels, do you who express merely angelic intelligence forget that Allah knows the secrets of the planetary realm and the seven heavenly realms? Do you forget that Allah knows every thought revealed or concealed? Bow with your entire being before the crown of my creation, who mysteriously bear my knowledge and my essence. So before time began, the angels and other beings on the subtle planes bowed profoundly before the transcendental atom, except for one etheric being named Ibis, Iblis, who was intensely proud of his intel intelligence. Iblis became the first of those who arrogantly turned turn away from the source of being, who negate the very ground of their own being, and who instinctively spread this negation in other minds and hearts. Iblis became the disintegrating force called Satan. The voice of truth then proclaimed, My beloved Adam, dwell with your wife in the primordial garden of life and experience whatever you wish, except for the fruits which awaken sharp pains of separation. Adam, consciously closed to ignore this admonition through the mysterious will of Allah, which permitted the ac action of Satan, for the human soul wished to experience separation from the source of love and the consequent longing for divine love, cherished since by every traveler along the mystic path of return. Thus, the human soul was drawn down from the bliss of transcendental life into the struggle of time. The voice of truth proclaimed to Adam and to all souls, you must descend into temporarity to experience separation and conflict. Remain for a lifetime in a school of longing where you will encounter more reflections, mere reflections of the delight that is above time. Yet Allah most merciful turned lovingly toward the temporal Adam, granting him illumination and opening him as the channel for the divine revelation. My beloved Adam, 
became the first prophet, the first messenger in time sent from the eternal source. Allah spontaneously turns and floods the hearts and minds of human beings with radiance, for Allah is tender, mercy, and sublime love. At the beginning of history, the voice of truth decreed, My cherished human soul, descend among the veils of separation, you will receive my guidance there, and who, those who respond wholeheartedly to the revelation flowing through the noble atom and through the pure stream of prophets to come will never be overwhelmed by fear or sorrow and will return directly to the ultimate source. But the soul who turn away from the source of love, rejecting the demonstrations of love that flow through my noble messengers, will need to experience their return into the beautiful light of eternity as the plunge, as the plunge into purifying fire. Meditation on Holy Quran 2, 28 to 39. The Essence of Islam there exists only one supreme source, one inexhaustible power calling itself Allah, the profoundly living one, the life beyond time that never diminishes, the one reality never sleeps, nor even for a moment rests its embracing awareness. To the one alone belongs the emanation of planetary existence and the seven higher planes of being as spreading rays of sunlight belong to a single sun. There is no being who can turn toward the ever-present source in prayer or contemplation except through the power and love that flow from the source itself. Since the ultimate source abides beyond time, it always remains perfectly aware of what causes proceed and what results follow from each event. Human beings can comprehend nothing of this encompassing awareness save what Allah Most High transmits to them as gifts of grace. All creation, including planetary and heavenly planes, is the brilliant throne of Allah. To sustain and protect this vast manifestation of divine energy involves no effort at all for the original source who is supremely transcendent and who subsists solely as radiance. My beloved Muhammad, there should never be the slightest compulsion through brought to bear upon any person to walk the exalted way of Islam. Allow humanity to be attracted spontaneously to Islam by its utmost clarity. For Islam simply makes clear the truth that there can only there can be only one source. This truth dissolves the prime primal error that turns away from the ultimate source by mistaking various limited views to be ultimate. Whoever ceases to rely on any idol, on any limited human understanding, and relies for strength solely on the limitless source who calls itself Allah has grasped the most trustworthy support, the clear and indestructible essence of Islam. Allah most wise hears inwardly the spoken and unspoken prayers and perceives intimately the open and hidden motivations of all beings. Allah most merciful gives the perfect guidance and full protection of his divine friendship to those who affirm the source of love with every breath, those who live the life of constant spiritual affirmation, Allah Most High brings forth from the shadow realm the, of subjective impulses and limited concepts into the clear light of the source. But those who turn away from the source of light, who for guidance and protection relies on the graven images of limitation, are drawn from the clarity of revelation into the realm of shadows and will inevitably experience the splendor of Allah as blinding fire. Meditation on Holy Quran 2, 255-257 Lovers of Love Regarding Spouse and Children Gold and silver, fine horses, livestock, and land as expressions of personal power is the way of gratification that glitters with false beauty. But life on earth lived gracefully as an affirmation of love, 
which culminates by returning to the source of love, is beautiful indeed. My beloved Muhammad, invite humanity with these words, Shall I inform you of a truly beautiful way and goal of life? Those whose whole being is turned in purity of heart toward the radiance of Allah Most High will begin to envision paradise here and will awaken after the sleep of death into gardens of nearness flowing with rivers of peace, abiding there at the source of love, at home in the mystical contentment beyond time. Souls share the purest companionship, which delights them for far more than compassion, that love delights those here on earth. Allah Most Merciful is intensely aware of His selfless lovers, whom He teaches to pray spontaneously with every breath. Most precious Allah, we long only to affirm love. While we exist on earth, please dissolve our denials of love so we may experience your direct presence, not as the fire of purification, but as the radiance of paradise. These are the lovers of love who continuously turn from the limited self toward the limitless source. This constant returning enables them to be profoundly patient, truthful, obedient to the holy way of life, and generous with their wealth and kindness to all beings. Throughout the night, and at the dawn prayer, these lovers of Allah most sublime implore His forgiveness for any selfish thought or action they have committed knowingly or unknowingly. My beloved, the ever-present source now speaking through you stands at the primary witness that there is only one supreme source who calls itself Allah. This truth of unity is witnessed also by eternal angelic beings and by human beings who have been awakened to the knowledge of their own true source and who can therefore remain constant in the way of universal harmony and injustice. There is nothing to rely upon other than Allah Most High, who is limitless power and perfect wisdom. Meditation on Holy Quran 3, 14-18 The Prayer of the Prophet Muhammad my beloved messenger, please teach human beings aspiring to true humanity to pray. Most exalted Allah, ruler of the radiant expanse of earthly and heavenly realms, you reveal the potent secrets of your kingdom to whomever you will and veil them from whomever you will. As pure divine mystery, you elevate whomever you will and limit whomever you will, your hands of power and goodness hold whatever is needed for the development of each living being, sharpening as sensitive spiritual teaching every personal and every comic event, cosmic event. For through you alone all events become possible. You alone cause the night of ignorance to disappear into the day of knowledge and the day of human knowledge, in turn to disappear into the night of divine mystery. You alone cause the living to enter the sleep of death, and you alone awaken those who have died into your own transcendent life. Most precious Allah, your constant provision for the evolution of all beings is subtle beyond any understanding. Meditation on Holy Quran 3, 26-27 the life of Jesus as revealed to Mary. The angels called. The dearest Mary, listen. Allah Most High sends you joyous news of the divine word emanating directly from the source of love, whose mystical name is Messiah, and who will be known as the noble Jesus. He will be profoundly honored in this world, and in the realm of paradise he is eternally beloved abiding with the most intimate companions of love. Deep within the radiance of Allah, the Messiah, Messiah Jesus will transmit truth to humanity, beginning as an infant in his cradle and continuing until he reaches manhood. He will be utterly righteous and pure of heart. The Virgin Mary turned directly to the ultimate source and prayed, Most precious Allah, how can I bear a child since no man has known me. 
Allah, most merciful, then awakened Mary spiritually by placing these divine words in her heart. My beloved Mary, the source of power can manifest whatever is needed to guide humanity, to protect any being or event. Allah simply affirms it, and it is. Through your spontaneously conceived child, the source of truth will confirm the truth of the Holy Torah. Through this luminous child, the source of wisdom will transmit the wisdom of the Holy Gospel. We, my beloved Jesus, will declare to the people of Israel, Behold, I have come with wonderful signs from the source of love and power. As a child, I molded from river clay like the likeness of, of a bird when I breathed on it. By the mysterious permission of Allah, it became a white dove that took wing before my mother's eyes. Through me, the divine power heals those born blind, cleanses lepers, and reawakens those who have fallen into the sleep of death. I demonstrate the power of Allah by knowing precisely what people have experienced, what worldly wealth they have stored in their houses, and what spiritual treasure they have hidden within their hearts. These are demonstrations of love to him turn human beings toward the source of love. I have come to confirm the words of Torah that were revealed before me, and I also to bring new spiritual freedom to give the people of Torah confidence in my prophethood. Have I come with powerful signs from Allah Most Sublime? By responding wholeheartedly to me, you will be turning toward the light of Allah. Allah alone is my source and your source. The direct path to illumination is to turn your whole life toward the ever-present source. The renaissance, the resonance of Allah continues to spring forth in the heart of the Virgin Mary. When the noble Jesus teaches thus, he will be rejected by his people and will cry out, Who will help to bear and to transmit the truth of Allah that is flowing through me? The blessed apostles will respond, Revered teacher, we will be your humble companions and the instruments of Allah Most High, for we have surrendered our lives to the source of life. You can witness our submission. We believe wholeheartedly that you are sent as holy messenger from the source and goal of being. May our names be inscribed in the heavenly book among those who will follow and serve the Messiah Jesus always. After the bitter scheming of these, those who live in negation of love have been brought to nothing by the power of Allah. The voice of truth will call these divine words into the heart of his holy servant, my beloved Jesus. I now draw you back into me and exalt your being so that you may merge into my being. I now purify and heal you from the harsh touch of those who deny that you are a messenger from the source of love. Be assured that I will transfigure with my love all those who sincerely follow you and awakening from the sleep of death. They will experience the radiant resurrection of paradise. Be assured as well that all souls will eventually return to me to resolve the conflict and confusion of their earthly journey. Meditation on Holy Quran 345-55 The path of the Prophet Abraham, Allah Most High, does not dispel instantly the severe distortion of mind and heart caused by worshipping mental or cosmic forces. The false Worship that turns away from the one true source. Other moral distortions are healed simply by the sweet forgiveness that overflows eternally from the source of love. But whoever attempts to elevate limited concepts and experiences to the level of divine truth will swayed deep into the shadow of error. My beloved Muhammad, your own people prayed to etheric forces, not even at the level of lower heavenly beings, elemental energies themselves, not even aware of the supreme source who is now speaking. 
Other people pray to various person personifications of the cosmic rebel Satan, the higher intelligence that is powerful and compelling, but that turns away from the ultimate source by claiming ultimacy for itself. Before time began, the satanic arrogance declared to Allah Most High, with my brilliant power and eloquence, I will draw to me a portion of your precious human servants by convincing them that their own intelligence is ultimate and needs look to nothing beyond itself. I will fill them with brilliant notions of how to take the forces of the universe into their own hands, invading them and dwelling within them as these intoxicating ambitions when I commanded, human beings will attempt to change the very laws and principles of your creation. Whoever trusts as a companion this disintegrating force called Satan, instead of making friends with the source of love, has suffered devastating loss. This should be obvious to everyone. Those who become intoxicated by Satan's beguiling promise that human intelligence and ambition are ultimate will experience the very radiance of Allah as the relentless fire of hell. Those, But those who keep free from this dangerous intoxication by turning constantly toward their own true source, living day by day the harmonious life of Islam, will be drawn by the source of love directly into divine love, which they will experience as timeless gardens flowing with rivers of ecstasy and tranquility. This homecoming into the source of love is Allah's promise. Who could be more truthful than the one who is truth? This message is not your imagination, my beloved messenger, not, nor was it the imagination of countless prophets before you who brought my words of truth to their people. Whoever turns away from the source of love and spreads the negation of love will inevitably experience painful results and will eventually be utterly alone without a single friend. Only Allah, most merciful, will be able to help if such a person is still able to face Allah. But the man or woman who lives life completely turned toward the source of love affirming love with every breath, will encounter paradise everywhere and will begin to understand the justice rendered to all beings by Allah Most High. Justice so perfect that no soul is wrong by even so much as the point of a date stone. Who could walk a more beautiful spiritual path than the person who lovingly surrenders all to the source of love? becoming one whose daily life in every detail clearly expresses divine love. This is the original path of the prophet Abraham, who turned with purity of heart to the source of purity and whom Allah most sublime embraces as his most intimate friend.